Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai X Limitless. And we back with another one. And when it comes to the music industry right now, we got diss tracks flying everywhere. We got the whole rap game ganging up on Drake. And when it comes to a response track, it's been radio silence from Drake. And Drake got to say something before, man. Everybody just join in on this, on this whooping. And when all of your peers hate you like this, it's got to be something Drake is doing. But one thing I learned from all of these beefs that Drake is in, a lot of them stem from women. And it seems like Drake has a bad habit of trying to take everyone's girl. And, you know, on and on the new album, We Still Don't Trust You, ASAP Rocky got some disses for Drake. Because on For All The Dogs, Drake dissed Rihanna. And I thought his diss to Rihanna, I thought it was, you know, distasteful to really diss the woman like that. And she ain't really publicly said anything about Drake. This is the lyrics he said. He said, hey, hey, look. Why they make it sound like I'm still hung up on you? That could never be. Gal can't run me. As in bad gal Riri. He says better him than me. That's an ASAP Rocky diss. He said better it's not me. I'm anti and T. And anti or anti is Rihanna's last project. She ain't dropped since 2016. Then he talks about, you know, sleeping with Rihanna. He says, yeah, and the sex was average with you. Yeah, I'm anti because I had it with you. I'm anti like your daddy, sister, anti like a family picture. And I had better women than you, to be honest. Yeah, that man, he's still with you. He can't leave you. Y'all go on vacation, baby, until he's. So ASAP Rocky responds to that diss on the song Show of Hands on the Future and Metro tape. He says, I hate it first, son. Still don't trust you. Always us, never them. Have you dropped your latest how it came and went so basically saying nobody's still listening to for all the dogs and that you know I me mean, he hit rihanna and you know I me mean, he still got rihanna so i might have to get that one to asap man because i don't see why why would drake diss rihanna in that kind of way and i don't i don't think drake got enough flag for that because that was super whack you're gonna diss a girl because she don't want you no more and she's moved on she's got a happy family and whatnot and you you just look salty as hell for that and we got the weekend man the weekend is even jumping in on this beef and they got that boy singing a diss track to drake and the weekend says to drake he says they could never diss my brothers baby they got leaks in the operation i thank god that i never signed my life away and he says their shooters is making tiktoks we drew the connection between drake and his top shotter baka which is supposed to be Drake's shooter, somebody gonna slide for Drake, right? And apparently he's making all kind of funny TikToks and stuff like that. And the part where he says, thank God that I never signed my life away. And very early in the weekend's career, he actually worked with Drake and Drake tried to sign him before the weekend made his own uh, XO label. And it seems like whoever signs to OVO with Drake, you know, he doesn't really promote them in a certain way. A lot of his artists kind of, you know, they, they clown it. They make it, they call it the OVO sweatshop where, you know, this crazy thing is if he signed to Drake, maybe the weekend would have just been a ghostwriter this whole time. And we would have never heard the weekend or, you know, he would have never been who he is today. I think someone who is very talented and might not be getting the proper promotion or whatever the case may be is party next door. I always wonder why party next door never got the recognition you know any sign to drake it seems like drake will kind of use your talent more so than promote you as your own independent artist so the weekend is saying you know thank god that he didn't sign to drake so you know even though a lot of us of course you know we know drake's music and we know his you know public persona but maybe there's something about drake's personality or his traits and character that might be in question so let's go down the list so we got kendrick lamar this drake we got ASAP Rocky diss Drake, Future diss Drake, J. Cole switched up on Drake, Metro Boomin beefing with Drake, Rick Ross switched up on Drake. You know, I wonder what happened with Rick Ross. I mean, Rick Ross might as well go ahead and diss him too just to get it over with because this seems to be the best time to do so. So let me know what you think in the comment box. With everyone pretty much bringing their problems to the forefront with Drake, you know, it doesn't seem like everyone's just hating on him all of a sudden. It seems like... You know, a lot of people having the same kind of discrepancies. A lot of it has to do with women. So let me know what y'all think in the comment box. You know, do y'all think Drake can get his get back? You know, he got a long list of ops. You know, I don't think Drake has to rush, man. You know, he could take his time and, you know, pick off one at a time, you know. And if I'm Drake, you know, I'm starting at the person who started this whole movement against Drake. 
I'm going at Metro Boomin, of course, and I'm going at Kendrick Lamar. I think Kendrick is the hardest target, so you want to kind of do it the hardest one first. Or if Drake isn't feeling up to the battle, you know I me, mean? he might try to go to the route of I'm going to pick on the easiest target first, but that just seems weak, you know. I think since people are expecting a response, you should go at the biggest target and then everyone else should get like light jabs, you know, a bar or two. People are, are saying that Drake has a whole diss track to Kendrick Lamar and I think he should he should drop that pretty soon. But we're going to see what's going on. Let me know what y'all think. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Like the video, subscribe and we gone.